Hey guys, I'm Danilo and I hope y'all are doing great out there. So you can probably tell from my previous videos, I do dabble a little bit with Legos, but I'm also a huge, huge car nut and a really big Formula One fan. My favorite team from the get-go has always been McLaren and you can probably already tell by the hat. So you can probably tell I was really stoked when I saw my Instagram feed and I saw Lando Norris and Daniel Ricciardo unveiling not the 22 car, but the 22 Lego Technic car. Now I had no idea this was coming from Lego. Um, I don't know if it was leaked already before, but Myself, I had no idea it was coming, so I kind of just stumbled on it, it just showed up, and I was super, super, super hyped for it, and uh, I really can't wait till it comes out. The set number is 42141, it's got 1,432 pieces, and it's going to be about 180 US dollars. The set is going to come out in a couple weeks on March 1st, 2022. Being that the set is not yet out, I did want to still give my initial impressions, um, especially with this car being a brand new car for 2022. They're totally redesigned. It was really cool that LEGO's giving us this new car and it's kind of our first time seeing almost the McLaren car in this new setup in, uh, in LEGO form. So to give a little bit of context, I was mentioning 2022 car and I really mean that specifically because Formula One as a sport for this year is entering a whole new set of regulations. What that means is that cars coming out this year are going to look totally brand new to us. We haven't seen these new designs under this new regulation before. So it's really exciting that LEGO is coming out with a Technic set that's going to represent this new era of cars. It's also very interesting because a lot of the cars, including McLaren, haven't officially unveiled these 22 cars. So it's pretty crazy that, to me, that LEGO came out with the reveal of the LEGO set um, before the McLaren team itself released the car for 2022. And I know it's just a LEGO Technic set, so it's not really showing anything on the real car per se, but I still would have thought that McLaren would have unveiled their car before LEGO unveiled the Technic set of the car. Either way, let's go ahead and break it down and see what we get in this set. One of the big changes in the new cars that's reflected well in the Technic set is the new front wing and nose design, which is captured pretty well here. Another big design change for this new 2022 car that's reflected in the LEGO Technic set are these giant curves under the rear wing. The Technic set also captures what's referred to as a 3D floorboard, which is new for these 2022 cars. In addition, over the front wheels we have these weight control winglets which is also in the Technic version and I think maybe the final of the bigger kind of noticeable changes at least visually that a lot of people are going to see are the new uh, big 18 inch wheels with low profile tires. What I really love about the wheels on this set and we kind of saw it also on the Speed Champions AMG uh, Mercedes F1 car are the Pirelli designation on the tires. Um, so it's, I think it's really cool that uh, LEGO took the effort to designate the Pirelli tires. Um, they've also got the blue stripe on the tires to indicate that these are wet tires. Um, I think this is great because normally on a car, uh, on, on a regular LEGO set, you don't get really any branding on the tires. But Formula One being a very, very tire strategy driven sport, um, the tires are really a big deal. They're really an integral part of the car. So I really appreciate that LEGO included that uh, into the set here. Now this isn't new for 2022, but the LEGO Technic set also captures the halo pretty well. And it's got also a pretty cool little steering wheel. And I think it really kind of accurately represents that kind of square and tiny steering wheel that uh, the drivers are dealing with. So the Technic set does have these cutouts in the rear. Um, to show the engine, the V6 engine that's in there. Now I'm really interested to see what this V6 engine is going to be comprised of. I really doubt that it's going to be accurate to the real uh, turbo hybrid engines, um, the really complex engines that are in the Formula One cars. I have a feeling that we're going to kind of get a pretty standard V6 build in this car. Um, maybe not highlighting um, the hybrid technical MGU aspects of the real Formula One car. I think we're going to get a basic V6 build, but I'm wondering if uh, LEGO Technic is going to have any surprises under the hood there for us. It does have a working suspension, although I would say that the Technic version probably has a lot more give than a real Formula One car does. In terms of the looks, this is a Technic car, so the new 2022 cars I think are pretty unique in that they're very futuristic, sleek, and very curvy looking. Uh, the Technic by design is not gonna it's gonna be difficult to replicate those curves but I think Lego did a really great job in doing so 
Honestly, I think it's a great looking Technic car. I love how they mimicked the um, papaya orange and blue livery here on the car as well. I think the proportions overall are nice, but I would like to see a video with more angles or get my hands on it to kind of really see it at all angles and see how it's really represented in real life. Now, lengthwise, the car is 25 and a half inches long. It's kind of hard for me to tell in the pictures what the size of the set is gonna be. A lot of the Lego Technic car models come in all kind of different scales. Um, but to put it in perspective, it's a little bit longer than the Porsche 911 Technic GT3 behind me. And that's already a pretty big set. So I think the F1 car is going to be basically scalable. Um, I think that's a 1.8 scale comparable to the Technic Bugatti Chiron and the 911 GT3. I could be wrong, but I would imagine um, that the length is basically making it to this scale here. Overall, I think it's a really beautiful Technic car. I think I may be a little bit biased because again, I am a number one McLaren fan. Um, but you know, hey, you know, to each their own. And I'm really interested to see how this is gonna sell um, and seeing who it's gonna cater to. I think we're gonna get mixed feelings on that price to piece ratio or maybe price to features ratio. I know with a lot of folks, if it's not a price to piece count, it's going to be that piece to functionality count. We definitely expect a lot of functionality with the Technic set. And I think this car in general is gonna be kind of limited in that regard. I do believe we have working steering and the motor that is going to fire off the cylinders when the car moves. But really, other than that, I don't think we're gonna get that much more. I don't think we're gonna have the intricate gearing like the GT3 and the Chiron and the Lamborghini Cyan has. We do have a little feature in the opening DRS and the rear wing, but really overall, there aren't too many moving gears and gizmos on this set. So I'm really wondering how primarily Technic fans are gonna be feeling about this model. I think this is gonna make for a really epic display piece and that's pretty much where all my Technic or car related sets live. Uh, really regardless of the functionality, I'm pretty much using a lot of my sets as display pieces anyway. Either way, I'm more than willing to say that if you're a LEGO fan and if you're a McLaren Formula 1 fan, I think you're probably going to be going out and getting this set just like I am. I'm super, super excited to get this and I wasn't planning on it, but now that I've seen this, this is definitely going to be a day one purchase for me as soon as March 1 hits the corner. Uh, I'm going to be at the stores getting it. And it's really crazy because I actually, just a day ago, I was doing a video on a preview for the LEGO 2022 uh, Speed Champions cars and going through the AMG Formula One car on that set. I was kind of uh, saying in my video that I wish LEGO would make more F1 cars and specifically I wish they would make a McLaren car because that livery is so awesome and I thought it would, be look, uh, I thought it would look great in LEGO. So when they came out with this car like a day later, Basically today, I was kind of just caught out of the blue. Super, super stoked to see it again. I'm just so excited to see this and I can't wait to get my hands on it. So with that being said, I really wanna hear from you guys. Please leave in the comment. Are you a Technic fan? Are you a car fan? Are you a Formula One fan? Are you all of the above? And whatever fan you are, let me know your thoughts on this model. Um, again, I know I'm a little bit biased because I'm a giant Formula One McLaren fan. So please let me know y'all's thoughts. Are you planning to get this model? Is it not worth it to you? And please tell me why. That being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please like, uh, please subscribe. I've got a lot of gaming uh, gear and toy content coming your way soon. So I appreciate all the views, all the comments, all the subs. I will see you guys on the next one and take care.